All right, this is Big Dogs Porting over here, and today we have a after flow test of a 70 millimeter Acufab small block Ford Mustang throttle body. Um, the before test flow test was 917 with the radius, this very radius on top, and we're going to flow it to see what our porting and modifications has gained. A lot of people don't realize that horsepower is about airflow um, and the right cam timing events and other things associated, but primarily airflow. Airflow in, exhaust flow out. So our philosophy is, you know, to make sure everything in the combo is flowing up to par with the requirements that's desired. Um, many people overlook everything going into you know the hard parts and out the hard parts like your intake manifolds and cylinder heads they think we can just put the biggest intake manifolds on the best intake manifolds on the best cylinder heads you know a custom cam and 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 and, and let it ride well that's a huge mistake you know a lot of times when you have that philosophy you don't even utilize the full capabilities of those parts because you're not thinking about your intake pipe diameter. You're not thinking about your header flow. Yes, headers need to be ported. They need to be checked to make sure they're flowing up to par. You're not thinking about your muffler flow, your X pipe flow, your exhaust pipe flow, your air filter flow, your, your throttle body flow, and your mass airflow sensor flow. So this is what we do here. Our philosophy is we're gonna flow everything that goes to your motor. That way, if we know all of the flow uh, specs to each part, we can eliminate bottlenecks. So we're gonna do that right now. So we have zeroed out, cut it on. So this throttle body is about 10, 1,000, about 1,010 CFM up from the 915. And you see we have everything taped off. So 1,010, 1,015 CFM with the radius. Now that's flowing more than a lot of 75 millimeter throttle bodies. So let's tell you something. This is a 70 millimeter flowing over a thousand CFM. But once again, that means nothing if your intake pipe doesn't flow enough or your air filter doesn't flow enough. If you have a thousand CFM flowing capability throttle body, but your intake pipe is only flowing 650 CFM, guess what your motor is going to see? 650 CFM if that's the lowest flowing part on the induction system. This is why a lot of guys bolt on a lot of expensive parts or high flowing parts and they fall short of their horsepower goals because they're not thinking about the whole combo. And it's unfortunate that a lot of Porters and other manufacturers are not putting information out like we are that's telling you guys these things, that's showing you guys these things, putting up videos. You know, they put up videos showing aftermarket parts because they have sponsors, you know, and they're trying to sell you an aftermarket part. We're not trying to sell you anything. You know, you can buy aftermarket parts, you can buy factory parts. We're just letting you know that we are concerned about progress and gains. What's the sense of buying a part, bolting it on just to make five horsepower more than what you already had? No. We're all about making power, period. And unfortunately, it's a lot of porters and other companies out there that's trying to bash us and I, I find it funny because the only thing we're trying to do is help you guys make more power 
for less money and less hassle and less headache. I find that kind of funny that they would bash us, you know, considering they know what we're doing, what we're explaining to you guys, and how we're reporting. They know it's it's effective. But I guess um, that's not their primary goal. So once again, this, this throttle body, 70 millimeter Acufab, small block Ford, Mustang, Fox body, started off at 917, now it's 1010, 1015 CFM. Check us out on our Facebook page for more content. Like, subscribe, and share these videos. You know, the more videos that get out, the more videos we can do. You know, we have a lot of up and coming videos of, you know, track times, um, dyno sessions, more flow comparisons. We have a good one for you guys. We're going to be comparing some of our ported factory parts against some big name aftermarkets, you know, on the flow bench, on the track, and also on the dyno. So, like I said, like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. See you guys at the track.